Hey, uh, this is Tilak. Welcome back to my past formula beginner tutorial. Today is the last session of the introduction of fast formula. Like next session, honestly, we'll start writing the fast formula. Today I try to explain the, the relation between the formula, formula types, uh, context, and the DBA. We have covered that, but I okay, I'll finish by today. The all this uh, the same thing repeating again the formula types and context of DBA. Okay. I'll explain you how that the DBA works. Uh, many people may think that DBA, the DBAs are DBAs are basically belongs to the applications, and that the DBAs are basically available for, available for that formula types only. For example, the compensation DBAs are available for compensation formula types. No, it is not nothing like that. There is no relation between a. Uh, DBA and that application. Yes, the, the, the database items are basically given by the particular product, but when it comes to formula, there's no direct relation between that. <clears throat> the formula types of application and the DBAs, they are kind of independent. How they are related? The relation is by a context. Okay. As long as the context given, like, you know, context available for formula types match with the context used in a DBA, the DBA is available for the product. A compensation can access the DBA from benefit, compensation can access the DBA from curvature, absences, as long as that the wear class conditions, like, you know, so coming as a context. Okay, for example, I'll give you, this is that compensation person selection. These are the contexts which is used. Now, when you are coming to the, the DBA called person assignment assignment name, which is used at two DBAs, I mean context, effective date and the HR assignment ID. These are the two things. As long as this information is available through the context, this DBA is available for this formula type. Okay. In this case, the effective date is passed in, HRI assignment rate is passed in. So any formula based on compensation person selection type can access person assignment, person assignment name. Okay. Now we look at one more for example. Okay. This is the same thing, person selection. Now I'm looking at a uh, pen ACA say person ID. I randomly I picked up this one. Now this has got a three contexts: effective date, person ID, business group ID. Okay, Sorry. business group ID. There are three contexts. Now what happened if you are looking at that? There's no business group ID is supported in the person selection. So now you cannot access the benefit, the person ID the, for DBA. The reason is the person ID is not available. Okay, this is how it works. I go back, see that here, whatever the context used by the DBA, so supported by the type available. Here, there's a one context which is not supported in the person selection. So any formula from compensation person selection cannot use this benefit DBA. Okay, if you understand this part, now you know what is to use, what cannot be used. Okay, now I go to application. I try to ex explain you that, uh, like, you know, in the real data, this application was my personal application. This I developed for my personal use, so it may not be available, but still I'm using it to show you the relation exactly, like how that the DBAs and the, uh, the type context related. Show you how the formula types and the contexts are, like, you know, derived. In a it's a kind of a real data. Okay, now let me have a look at the type list. Okay, let me take something from a compensation. Compensation, let me take it. Okay, now I'll take that uh, <coughs> compensation end date. Now, if you look at these, these are the things that are basically that context which is available for. If you look at that, 
that the end effective date, seniority date, conversation record. These are the things basically fascinating. Okay, let me take something from a benefit. Now let's see. Benefit. Say average amount limit. Let's see, we'll take it. Fill this and date and the effective date from business group ID. Okay. One of the things from that compensation and that uh, benefit is benefit user business group ID compensation does not use it. That is one of the limitations. We see that using a benefit data DBA is in compensation. But there's a workaround there. We'll discuss that later. Okay, benefit balances, relationship ID, job ID, HR, like the brand ID, brand type ID, BGM ID. These are the contests basically used by the benefit. Let us look at one time and labor. Let's see. Time and labor. Okay, accrual. Accrual is the absences, I believe. Okay, that's fine. Let's see that accrual. Says that date and accrual plan ID, effective date, elementary ID, HR assignment ID, relation ID, term ID, legislative payroll relation, all the payroll information is the present. These are the information basically supported by accrual pass formula. Now we'll see other way around how the information is like you know used from DVA to a formula type. Okay, let me go to formula type. Okay, I'm taking a DBA list. I'll take something from compensation. Uh, okay. Probably starts with com CMP. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Now we are taking the salary amount. Now, if you have salary amount, basically this is the, the salary amount information is used, is a number. Okay. Is a number, salary is the salary amount. Okay. Salary amount is the, is a number information. This is coming from a salary amount uh, column. And if you are looking at that, okay, this is used only the effective date and the assignment ID context. This is the DBA information. This is what are the DB information. Okay, if you look at that, what are that, what are the uh, DBA is coming from this uh, route? See that all the assignment salary coming from the route. Okay. Okay, this is basically all like you no know, single uh, uh, single value DBAs, which is coming from this particular route. Okay, I'm going back now. Let's see. What are the context need for this DBA or the DBA? Yeah, sorry, for this route or the DBA. Uh, let me look. Uh, okay, sorry, this is we this is the context. I'm sorry. This is the context for the route. Now see what are the formula type supports it. Okay. These are the formula supported because that is how the basically that the, the context drives it. Okay, whichever the context is supporting that particular uh, uh, the particular, uh, what's that called, um, type, what are the context supported by this type, that's what is listed here, like if you look at this here, probably say, see the high assignment data effective data is supported here, now if you go here, uh, balance exceptions, okay, let's see, current selections, see that, HR assignment data should be there, and the effective date should be there. As long as the effective date and HR assignment ID is there, supported by that formula type, they can use any data with any DBA from this route because that is supports only effective date and HR assignment date. This is the relations. Okay, again, I'm repeating it. This application is not available anywhere. This is personally developed my me for my own use to analyze the whole information. So this is, I'm just showing it how the relation exists because there's no other way I can uh, like, you know, show it to you. Okay, thank you. Again, if you have any questions or uh, like, you know, suggestions, please let me know in that. Uh,
comments? Thank you.